So the last of our conic sections remaining are hyperbolas. Definition, a hyperbola is the set of all points in a plane, the difference of whose distances from two fixed points, the foci, in the plane is a positive constant. So remember the definition for ellipse was very similar. It's just instead this was the sum of whose distances. For a hyperbola, it's the difference. The foci are a distance c from the center, so that's the same. But notice c squared equals a squared plus b squared, okay? Now the vertices of a hyperbola are the points obtained at the intersection of the graph and the x-axis or y-axis. Vertices are a distance a from the center. This is the same as the ellipse. The transverse axis of the hyperbola is the line segment passing through the center and the vertices. The length of the transverse axis is 2a. So that's what we call the major axis for an ellipse. Now the conjugate axis of the hyperbola is the line segment passing through the center and the points that are not on the hyperbola intersecting the other axis. The length of the conjugate axis is 2b. So standard equation of a hyperbola with center hk. The biggest difference to notice, you're dealing with a hyperbola because there is a subtraction sign involved, okay? So you can either have the x variable be positive or the y variable be positive. If x minus h squared is positive, then the parabola is opening up in the x direction. So I'm just going to draw something that's centered at 0, 0 to keep things easy for now. And what it would look like is the vertices are a distance a from the center. So this would be a. And then I'll show you how we find b. And you draw little asymptotes. Something like this. This is a super rough sketch. And they open in the x direction. Okay, if x is positive, they open in the x direction. And whichever variable is positive, the constant underneath that is a squared. So if y minus k squared is positive, the constant underneath that is a squared. What does that one look like? Well, you guessed it. So it would open in the y direction. Okay, that's all the picture that we need. So as we work on the examples, you'll see exactly how to tell um, which way it's opening and where the center vertices and foci are. Okay. And there's going to be two asymptotes for each hyperbola. I will show you how to find that in just a second. So first example, sketch the graphs, find the vertices and the foci. So we have y squared minus x squared over 15 equals 1. So the center is at 0, 0. Now, a is equal to 1. a is whatever constant is underneath the positive variable. a squared is under the positive variable. That means b is equal to the square root of 15, and that's about 3.9. Now, how do I find c? Well, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, which is going to be 1 plus 15, which is 16. So that means c is equal to 4. Okay, so let's start drawing our picture. So we have center at 0, 0. And I'll go out 5 to the right, 5 to the left. Let's just do up and down 5, 2. Why not? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so center's at 0, 0. In the y direction, I'm going to go up and down one unit. And those are my vertices right there. So let's just list that out before we forget. So the vertices are at 0, plus or minus 1. I know those are the vertices because they're underneath the positive variable. Now I'm going to go about 3.9 rad 15 to the right and left, the x direction. So 1, 2, 3.9, 1, 2, 3.9. Now what do you do from here to draw the graph? Well, you make what some people refer to as the fundamental rectangle. So you make a rectangle that goes through those four points. Okay. And then the diagonals of that rectangle will be where the asymptotes are. And these asymptotes are your guide for drawing your hyperbola. This one's a little tricky because the slope is so small. 
Okay, now which way is the parabola opening? Since y is positive, it's going to be up and down. Okay. And we know c is 4. Okay, we can find the foci as well. So they're going to be plus and minus 4 units from the center. So 4 to the right. No, they won't. They're going to be up and down from the center because the hyperbola is going to eat the foci. So from the center, they're going to be up 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so those are the foci. F1, F2. So foci are at 0, plus or minus 4. So now we can graph the hyperbola. Make sure you use those asymptotes to guide your picture. And then see, I told you in one of the first videos, the conic sections always look like they're gonna eat or gobble up the foci. So that's how you know you set it up in the right direction. And then we need to get the equations of the asymptotes. So what are their equations? Well, they go through zero, zero. And then what is the slope? Well, the slope is gonna be rise one, run rad 15, or run negative rad 15. So I could write the equation as y equals plus or minus 1 over rad 15x. Those are the asymptotes. Okay, and that's typically what you're asked for with one of these. Nice. Let's look at another example. So here we have x minus 3 squared over 25 minus y minus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. Okay, so where's the center? The center is at 3 comma 1. What is a equal? Well, 25 is underneath the positive variable, so that's a squared. So a is 5, b is 2, and remember c squared equals a squared plus b squared, which is 29. So c equals rad 29. Okay. And then from here, let's start graphing. And then I'll worry about the foci, the vertices, and the equations of the asymptotes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. X-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so the center is at 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. In the x direction, I'm going to go 5 to the right, 5 to the left. Those are my vertices, so let's just list them now. Since x is positive, those are the vertices. They're at 8, 1 and negative 2, 1. Okay, and then in the y direction, I'm going to go up and down 2 units, and then we make our fundamental rectangle. Not all books call it that, but I heard it once and I loved it. So we're calling it that. And then you draw your asymptotes. Those are the diagonals through the fundamental rectangle. Okay, and then this one's going to open this hyperbola in the x direction, right? So here's one of our vertices. So it's opening up this way. And this way, here's another one. Now, where are the foci? So let's see. So the foci are going to move from the center, which is at 3, 1. And the x-coordinate is going to change by rad 29. So rad 29, that's more than 5, less than 6. So more than 5, less than 6. That looks good to me. So there's our foci. So how would you write their coordinates? Well, I would say 3 plus or minus rad 29 comma 1. And then the only thing left is to write the equations of the asymptotes, okay? Now, in this case, the asymptotes do not go through 0, 0. They always go through the center of the hyperbola, though. And remember, hk was at 3 comma 1. Well, what's the slope of these asymptotes? Well, in the y direction, we moved up 2 units. And in the x direction, we moved 5 units. So they're going to have slope plus or minus 2 over 5. One's positive, one's negative. So I can just write this using point-slope form. I'll have y minus 1 
equals plus or minus 2 fifths times x minus 3. And honestly, just leave it like that. You don't have to put it in y equals mx plus b form. That is fine for me when you're doing comics. Check with your teacher, though. Maybe someone's more picky than me. Okay, how was that one? I think they're fun looking. All right, let's look at another one. This time we have to complete the square. Are you ready for it? So just like with the ellipse, we're going to group the variables together. So we have 2y squared plus 8y plus something minus x squared. Or actually, we're not ready for that just yet. We're not ready. Um, minus x squared plus 2x, and then move the constant over to the other side, equals negative 3. Now take out the constant on the quadratic term. So I have 2 times y squared plus 4y plus something minus, I have to take out that negative, x squared minus 2x plus something equals negative 3. Okay, so what goes in the blank? For the first one, take 4, divide it by 2, and then square it. That's going to be 4, but really I need to add 8 on the other side. And then here I need to add 1, but really I need to subtract 1. So now I'm left with 2 times y plus 2 squared minus x minus 1 squared equals 5 minus 1, which is 4. And same thing, these always have to equal 1, just like your ellipses. So this is going to be y plus 2 squared over 2 minus x minus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. All right, looks good. So where's the center? Well, the center is at 1, negative 2. What is a equal? Well, a is rad 2, since y plus 2 squared is positive. b is equal to 2. I know, it's different than an ellipse. a was always the bigger one, but that's not the case here. And then remember, c squared is a squared plus b squared, which is going to be 6. So c equals rad 6. Okay, let's graph, and then we'll figure out where the vertices and foci are. Do you know which way this one's opening? Yes, it's up and down, right? Because the y squared term is positive. So here's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is negative 5. And negative 5 here. Okay, so the center is at 1, negative 2. And then in the y direction, I'm going to go up and down, rad 2. So that's about 1.4. Okay. And then in the x direction, we're going to go two units to the right, two units to the left. And now it's fundamental rectangle time. And then we're going to draw our diagonals. Those are our asymptotes. Beautiful. And then we can draw our hyperbolas. So they're going to open up and down in the y direction. Let's do a different color. What sounds good? This dark purple. So here's a hyperbola. Here's half a... Oh, terrible. Let's make it nice. There we go. And then one opening downward. So where are our vertices? It's this point and this point. What are those coordinates? Well, from the center, I went up and down, rad 2. So the vertices... You're going to change the y coordinate. It's going to be 1, negative 2, plus or minus, rad 2. Good. And then the foci are going to be up and down, rad 6 from there. So again, y coordinate and subtract rad 6. So you could say, you know, rad 6, it's more than 2, less than 3. Here's a focus. Here's a focus. Enjoy. Okay, now only other thing we need are equations of the asymptotes. All right, well, I know they go through the center. So I'm going to use that point for point slope form. I just need their slope. So the slope is plus or minus the distance from the center to one of the vertices. That's rad 2. So that's the rise over run is 2. So the equation would be y plus 2 equals plus or minus rad 2 over 2 times x minus 1. Okay? Oh, odd shape, but we'll take it. We will take it. All right.
Moving on, now we're going to play the detective game. So they give us information, we have to write the equation. So find the equation of the hyperbola that has center at the origin and it satisfies the given conditions. So the vertices are at plus or minus 4, 0, and it passes through 8, 2. As soon as you see the vertices are parallel to the x-axis, right, because they're at plus or minus 4, 0, I know it's going to be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And I didn't have x minus h or y minus k because they told me the center's at the origin. Okay, so it passes through 8, 2. It goes through that point, and then the vertices are at plus or minus 4, 0, and here's the center. So it's looking like this, right? And then something like that over there. Okay, well, I know what A is, don't I? I know that A is 4, so I have x squared over a squared over 4 squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And since it goes through the point 8, 2, I could substitute in 8 for x and 2 for y. So why don't we do that? So here I'm going to have, let me clean this up first. So x squared over 16 minus y squared over b squared is 1. So I'm going to replace x with 8. So that's going to be 64 over 16 minus 2 squared over b squared equals 1. Now, 64 divided by 16, that's 4. So I have 4 minus 4 over b squared is 1, which means negative 4 over b squared is negative 3. So b squared is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, that looks good. We can just leave that there. And then from here, we can substitute everything in. So I'm going to have x squared over a squared, which is 16, minus y squared over b squared, which is 4 thirds, equals 1. And that, you know, it depends on the context. You could leave it like that. Technically, it's a complex fraction to have the 4 thirds in the bottom, but then we can identify what b squared is more easily. So it's kind of up to you if you want to leave it or not. All right, last example, find the equation of the hyperbola that has center at 1 comma 4 and it satisfies the given conditions. The vertex is at 0, 4 and the focus is at negative 2, 4. So center, I know HK right away is 1, 4. I just need a rough sketch to orient myself, right? Like you got to figure out, is it opening in the x direction or the y direction? That way you know which one's positive. So hk is 1, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's the center. Okay, great. The vertex is at 0, 4. So that's telling me which way it's opening. And focus is at negative 2, 4. 1, 2, that's negative 2. Here's a focus. Okay. Well, this distance from the center to one of the vertices is A, so I know A equals 1. I also know what C is, the distance from the focus to the center. Since the focus is at negative 2, 4, and the center is at 1, 4, then C equals 3. And this is all happening in the x direction, which means it's opening this way, right? If you remember that the hyperbola eats the focus, then it's going to open this way. Okay, so I'm going to have x minus 1 squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over whatever b squared is equals 1. How do I find b squared? Well, remember, a squared plus b squared is c squared. So that means 1 plus b squared is 9. So b squared is equal to 8. So now I'm done. So I'm going to have x minus 1 squared over 1 minus y minus 4 squared over 8 is equal to 1. Ooh, that one was fun. All right, so that concludes our last video on conic sections. They're super important. You're going to review them again later when you take Calculus 2 because when you get to Calc 3, you're going to kick it up to the next level and take these guys 3D. So just you wait.